Hi, I'm David Coombe from ePianos, and today I want to show you one of the features on the new CVP800. It's the Piano Room feature. Okay, so I want to show you the Piano Room feature on a CVP. This is the 809. There's also an 805 in the same range, which works identical, so you can use all the same features. Now, the, the Piano Room is, is designed for people who play the piano who aren't too understanding of all the other features and want to just dip their feet in the water first by being able to use some of the accompaniments and get them to play along with styles and backings without it being too different from playing it like a normal piano. The uh, CVP has a big, big large screen. It shows me a piano on the screen at the moment and you can choose what sort of piano you actually want to play along with. So you'll see from my screen, I've got at the moment a Yamaha Grand Piano and I can just lift up and down the lid by just putting my finger up and down and that will make it a brighter sound when it's up. You can even see the reflections of all the strings and the action. We can bring it back down again to soften the sound. So that's the first feature that the Piano Room allows you to do. If we touch on the piano itself, we then get a choice of sounds from a Grand Piano by Yamaha, a Bosendorfer, a much softer, mellower sound, Studio Grand, upright pianos, honky tonk, uh, vintage electric piano. So there's a whole selection of sounds that you can still play it with the weighted, lovely action, but it will give you a different tone to suit the piano that you want to sound like. So that's our piano choice. I'm going to put it on Bösendorfer. And let's just take that off that screen. And you can see I've got the lid up at the moment. I'm going to play Ralph McTell's um, Streets of London. So let's just try that out first. <laughs> Very straightforward, very simple playing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more instruments to that. Now we've got a little picture of a drum and a guitar in the corner. So I'm going to press the drum and the guitar in the top right hand corner. And then I'm going to get a little picture of a band. These are my musicians that want to play along with me. And what they're going to do is they're going to follow what I play. As long as I play three notes between my two hands, that will make up a chord. And if that chord's playing, it will mean that the band will follow my chord. So what I can do, this is my band here, okay? And I can bring in, um, if I press the, the, the drum kit itself, I can choose the sort of style that I want to play. Now, we've got five pages. These five dots above the word tap are different selections of um, instruments in different band situations. So I can start off with things like cool eight beat, waltzes. I've got Latin. I've got um, funky shuffles. And these are all different sort of styles of music that might suit a piece of music you're playing. Now you need to experiment with them, obviously, to see which one suits you best. So I'm just going to go to uh, Easy Acoustic Ballad. There we go. And the band are ready for me. Now, I've also got a speed here. So I'm just going to put this a little bit faster for what I'm going to show you. Let's go up to 100. OK. And then I've got a little cog. And if I press my cog here, that will then give me the three instrument parts of the band. So we've got the guitarist or the accompaniment section. We've got the bass player. So I'm going to take off the guitarist and the drums at the moment. And then I'll start it off here. And you hear when I play a chord, I've got the bass player playing now. I can still make it slow or faster, but that's the, the speed I chose, 100 beats per minute. Sounds quite nice. Let's add some more instruments. Let's have the guitar now. Let's add the drums.
And when I stop it at the end, it gives me a nice shimmery end, okay? Okay, so any of these styles can be used to give us of an enhancement to what we're playing. And we've got a choice of all these different backings. So let's go to the, um, the cog in the bottom right hand corner here. And we can see we actually get a choice of four backings. I've chosen section control. And that now means that we've got A, B, C and D. So I can choose between four different backings for every single style. A. C and if I hit to D so the further I go along the more advanced the backings get and the more drums and things are going on in the background to really enhance what we're playing okay I've got a selection of styles to choose from there are actually five pages on here we've got from the beginning starting with a uh, cool eight beat going to the swing rhythms, middle of the road, to rumbas and Latin, to jazz, on to um, funky shuffle. We've got rock and roll, we've got 60s hits. We've got all these different sort of styles that will enhance what we're playing. So it's a case of looking through them and getting familiar with what will sound like what to suit what you're playing. If we go into, um, let's say I go to funky shuffle, okay? And I play my triangle here and my chord. Now, if I want to see the variations, then what we do, let's just press this cog in the bottom corner here, and we turn on the section control. And now when I come out of it, we've got A, B, C, and D variations. So A will always be the simplest. B. C and then D will be the, the funkiest. And we can play our back into that. So let's go to a different one. Let's try a different style, okay? So same again, we hit the middle of the bass drum and we go into the style that we want to play. So let's try vintage rock and roll, okay? And then we play our triangle here to start it and a chord. And then the more variations to see. Now you might not want it all playing, so that's where we can go back and get rid of some of the instruments. So we go to, um, where do we go? We go to the band, and then we go to the cog, and then we can take them out. So we might take out the drums, and maybe the guitar strumming. Out the drums. And the guitar. So it's really good to be able to play along and decide which musicians you want playing alongside you and knowing that the chords you play they'll follow you and the speed can be also decided by this tempo here and something else you can do you can actually tap in the speed that's in your mind or if you're going to play along and you want to hear a record first and then play the same type of thing you can go one two, three, four. And that tells me that was 105 beats per minute. If I go faster, and that shows me it's two, two, two. So when I start now, it'll be a much faster beat. So you can decide what will suit the music you're playing. But it's very, very versatile. Uh, let's just go to one more. Let's go to um, 70s country swing, okay? And again, I'll stop my uh, triangle to start. Okay. 
and we've got these these variations on what we can choose it's just finding one that suits the music you want to play so do try and be imaginative um, we can go into all these different styles there's five pages of nine so you've got 45 different styles to choose from we've got the speed the speed comes in automatically for the style you choose but you can override that to make the speed that you want and we've got a metronome down here too so we can actually go in and we can have a metronome only that just taps away in the background if you don't want the full band and um, if you want to have the, the variations we can have them on the screen but pressing this bottom cog here means that we can get rid of the variations there's a few other things we can do to do with tuning where the lid's going to be placed the environment you can decide on the backing from this screen as well so we can turn that on and have our room or go through to a different environment it might be the, the stage and then we've also got um, a reset if you want to go back to normal again so you can decide how it's going to be but essentially just click out we're back on that main screen it shows me now on the stage as well and it enhances everything you're playing so do experiment it's called piano room and it's a great way to um, immerse yourself in all the digital facilities of a clavinova without going into changing your style of your left hand or, or, or changing the way that you play because it's based around a piano player's style I hope you found this video useful. We have lots of other videos on our ePianos TV channel on our website, epianos.co.uk, and also click around our instruments, see all our different offers and deals. And if you want to subscribe to our newsletter, click on there and you can um, get regular newsletters with our latest offers and deals, and also more, more things like this to show you how to get the best out of your instrument.